Hello and welcome. This is EDC with Oaken and Kane. I am Oaken. And I'm Kane. And today we have, uh, you know, we're bringing a little bit of that Christmas spirit, a little bit of that, hey, what are some great kind of options for stocking stuffers, for kind of small gifts, for kind of little um, additions to the Christmas spirit. Uh, for either somebody kind of getting into knives or somebody that, uh, you know, is, is kind of already a, a knife enthusiast. That's going to be the full title. It's like three <laughs> pair. <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, where, where do we want to start with this, Kane? I think let's start with maybe the box cutters. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so if you guys have been watching the channel for a while... Um, you guys all know that uh, Giltech is definitely one of our uh, kind of favorite brands when it comes to making a super lightweight, super great um, uh, little uh, box cutter there. And uh, so I'm going to move this down a little bit. Now pretend right here is the new Ruck S. What is the new Ruck S, you ask? Uh, it's a little bit simplified version of this. Keep your eyes out on the channel. We've got one on the way. Um, but that would also uh, fit nicely along here with uh, with all these little guys. Uh, but to me, I think uh, a little box cutter is something that really is uh, you know, phenomenal for a lot of your basic EDC tasks as well as you know for your... For your average person that maybe isn't used to carrying knives, you know, something like this is going to be a bit of a stretch um, compared to, you know, maybe something like this. It is very, um, uh, very, very lightweight, very, very easy to um, uh, to use and manipulate. I mean, just slide right up. So uh, these are, are some really great options. And of course, you've got something like here. I'll let you. Oh, let you talk about I that appreciate guy. it. Yeah, the old fast back. The old fast back. You know, people love to fidget with their knives, and this is a fidget-friendly version. All you do, press the button, swing it out, and look at that drop shut action. All this could be yours for nine dollars. Is that on roller bearings? <laughs> <laughs> it's on something. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah <it> is. <laughs> um, really cool knife. Obviously, pretty cheap, but I think. Everyone likes a nice box cutter. You can get easily four finger grip on here for those guys that don't want the little smaller versions that you might not get your whole hand on there. And I guess about the ruck, you can also easily explain, you know, just use it like an old flash drive. You know, just slide it up. Everyone's usually used the flash drive before, so easy to explain to those non knife people and might get them more interested in knives. Also, being so lightweight, you can, you know, put in your pocket, put in your truck. And you don't have to worry about sharpening your blade. Just throw a new one in there. So, yeah, these are a very good stocking stuffer idea. Yeah, absolutely. So, and yeah, remember, guys, you can go to guildtech.com and check out the new uh, S model that they have come up with. That, like I said, is just a one-piece design that is a little bit simplified. And, uh, yeah, if you keep your eyes on the channel, uh, we'll be having one soon. So I just watch my finger move around. All right, what okay. is next? I will let you pick the second category. Second category. Well. <laughs> well, since we're already talking about knives, let's talk about the other kind of utility knives or Swiss Army type knife that you could get. Ah, multi tools. You multi tools. Might say. <laughs> multi tools. Yeah. One might say. Or even this little guy. Let's put that in here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We can even include, you know, multi-tools of, uh, you know, like one-piece multi-tools, things like that, are also going to be in there. And then even this little guy here. So these are just cool little category um, for things that might be useful for even someone that isn't into knives or doesn't want to carry a knife. For instance, my father-in-law exclusively uses this bad boy for opening boxes and has on his keychain. Looks like a key, but wait, it's not. We gotta get that man a ruck. Man, we gotta get him a ruck. <laughs> but look, it has a nice lock to it, not gonna close on you. But opening dog food bags, everything, this is it for him. So, 
some people like just minimalist stuff, don't want to stand out too much, and, you know, looking like a regular key on your keychain. Sorry, I am a Falcons fan. But yeah, not too bad. Very cheap. This is made by SOG, but really handy for the people that just will not carry anything in their pockets or carry a knife. And then also kind of on that uh, sort of same uh, line, a lot of people actually, oddly enough, look at us in our father-in-laws. My father-in-law also carries a uh, Victorinox daily. Um, but, uh, you know, to me, something like one of the Alox models that is a little bit um, uh, more durable and uh, a lot thinner. I mean, look at that, guys. So this is the Cadet. So you got your main blade here, and then you've got your um, little combo tool there. But super, super, super lightweight, and just really, really uh, thin. These are, are great little options. Um, you know, this even uh, a little bit thicker, but this gives you the saw. There we are, saw and uh, scissors as well. You know, if you ever gotta trim up the beard on the go, or, you know, do some arts and crafts. Yeah, now that um, you mentioned, prepped. mentioned scissors, a lot of people like scissors, and I've, there's another keychain, the Leatherman. Let's see if I can get this on camera. There it is, Leatherman style CS. Has a little knife here. If I can get it out. You can do it. I can do it. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, she's a big one. Um, but so it has a little knife there, but once you open it up, a nice pair of scissors that actually will open up and close as you let go. So it's very useful to have a pair of scissors sometimes if you can't use a knife on something. Um, but a lot of people like to have a small pair of scissors again that they can put in a keychain with a bottle opener, also a nail file. There we go. And tweezers. And tweezers. Yep, here's the tweezers. So, really cool. Just a little multi-tool that can be useful for your everyday guy or gal. Yeah, or gal. I you think know? these come in different colors. Maybe pink and green and stuff too. So. And they also have a variant of this that has pliers instead. As well as a variant that has pliers here. And uh, replace the knife with a pair of scissors. And that way it is TSA approved. Um, now, of course, that's never a guarantee. Uh, you can always walk up to the wrong TSA agent on the wrong day. And uh, it really doesn't matter if there's a knife on there or not. So don't take it as, uh, as gospel. But, uh, but yeah, they do have a couple other variants uh, for your travelers uh, in mind. Um, and then also another uh, great little thing is uh, this here. This is the Griffin Pocket Tools Mini. And this is uh, stainless steel, have a little pry bar, a little bottle opener, a um, couple little uh, kind of slots there you could use uh, for wrenches in some capacity. Obviously, this isn't going to replace any toolboxes. Um, but, uh, yeah, and it works as a... Oh, crap. Oh, no. Where, where did I put my keys? Oh, I see them. Well... And okay, the elevator okay. music. Okay. Uh, so uh, <laughs> it works as a suspension clip. Uh, here is the copper variant. Um, now this is the mini. This is the standard size. They have an XL as well. Um, but yeah, these are, are real, real great. And, um, you know, obviously this copper one has got a hefty amount of use on it. But a, a kind of nice option is a little suspension clip to... Hook it to your belt lip, uh, belt loop, or um, uh, jeans, and it works pretty nice. So, what is this little thingamajig? So that little thingamajig is uh, this. Actually, if you're buying any Wii or Civivi knives right now, um, you uh, will get this free with your purchase. And it is just a little uh, bottle opener with a little pry tool there couple little slots for wrenches this nice little ring here for swinging around 
Uh, <laughs> Definitely need that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this one of those COVID devices? Where it is, uh, I push don't believe the it's planned uh, to be, but I do believe you could do some poking with it. Some poking, okay. You could do some poking, some door opening, and then. Um, and uh, then we've got our little Giltech um, uh, bit holder there that is not only a three bit holder, but also if you uh, pull one of those bits out, you can hook it to. Oh, bum, da, bum, bum, in there magnetically. Nice. Uh, yep, and you can uh, stick it right in there. And that magnet uh, is strong enough to kind of go through and work to uh, kind of hold it in place there. But yep. super, super great for, you know, just uh, tightening things on the go. I kind of like that for uh, pivots and pocket clips. Stuff like that is just great to be able to oh, adjust this little bit here. Or if your clip gets bent out, you can pop it off and uh, fix it. Yeah. on the go comes with the o-ring but because of the magnets they're actually in there pretty good you shake it they're not going to fall loose so nicely designed and it comes in the two-bit holder as well that's not as girthy is that what you yeah, yeah, yeah. i'd say yeah not, yeah. As, not quite as girthy a little yeah. more streamlined a little more streamlined you know so it's another good option for your everyday carry guy yeah so what we got next uh, we'll clear this out of the way and go for the uh, next grouping is going to be pins. Dun, dun, dun. We totally planned this video beforehand and are not doing a majority of this off the cuff. I don't think anybody bought that, but anyway. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, so another great option is, is pins. I mean, this is somebody that you know, even though we are in a, you know, pretty big uh, tech world, everybody's using screens and doing a whole lot of typing, uh, a vast majority of people still really do uh, need a good pen. Um, and uh, so I, I definitely think that pens are often kind of overlooked, but great little bits of uh, additions to just about anybody, uh, anybody's EDC. I mean, even from you know, younger younger kids all the way up to, uh, you know, old folks. Especially during the days of COVID, I really urge you to bring your own pen, sign, you know, checks or bills, everything with your own pen so that you're not using the community pen that it doesn't seem like half the time to think about wiping down. So another way to try to stay safe is having your own pen just to, you know, sign your name, add a tip, things like that come in different varieties as you can see here why don't you walk us through a couple of these yeah we went, to, uh, we went with some a uh, little bit uh, lower priced options uh, but of course uh, this is one of my favorites the pocket pen with the blue insert and clip um, definitely one that I uh, pretty much always have on me the thing weighs nothing um, as well as uh, you can get those oh, for pretty good price I think it's a 20 bucks for like a five pack or an eight pack so you can get a pretty decent amount of them so really really it's, it's a great pin to have on you but also a great pin that you know if you lend it to somebody and it doesn't make its way back to you you know there's no huge hard feelings i mean i'm sure you're plot some sort of small vengeance against them but i mean nothing intense or crazy we're not talking about a mont blanc here um, uh, so some, uh, some other good options, uh, Zebra, this is kind of their standard 301, um, and then this is the little bit dressed up 701, let's see if we can see that, oh, there we are, F701, um, but yeah, great, uh, pins for the price, um, these you could normally get for, you know, a couple bucks, and then these guys for, I think, they're under 10. I, I want to say it's about 7 bucks, but you can easily find refills for them. And, uh, you know, I personally really, really do like this guy. That little bit of knurling just kind of gives it a, kind of a nice, nice touch there. And, uh, yeah, no complaints there. Next, we've got Parker. Now, I believe they are made... I think they're actually made in France. This is a little bit older one that I think is USA made. Why does it say that? Yeah, made in USA. If you can barely see that. 
Um, but these are, you know, really great options that uh, typically are kind of, you know, an all stainless design. I know you can get multiple uh, kind of colorways, but I think it is a all stainless or an aluminum front um, that normally come in around oof, probably like, you know, 10, 10 to $20 range, kind of somewhere in there. So not too bad, but also, yeah, a lot of the same benefits as these guys. You've got great um, access to refills. You know, you're not necessarily having to pull out the calipers and measure which refill might work. Uh, they're pretty readily uh, available to find. And uh, then last but not least, what do we got here, Kane? We got the Civivi custom pin. Um, and they also make... Oh, what? The quill, I believe. Oh, sorry, the quill. Um, but these are like the tactile, the bolt pins, which are very fidgety. Guys really like to fidget. Um, this is the Civivi version in aluminum. We also makes one in titanium if you're wanting to go all out. Um, but look, nice deep carry pocket clip, glass breaker on the top, and a little bit more tactile look, a little bit cooler looking if you want to say it, but just very fidgety. And any guy or any girl would love to just sit there and do any this. Guy, gal, woman, guy, and child. Guy, gal, woman, child. <laughs> just do that all day. So another good option, uh, you know, if you don't want a, just a regular normal looking pin or um, something else like that. But next topic. Yeah, but on to the next category. Bum, bada, bum, bum. Next category um, is, uh, you know, something that I think is, uh, pretty important to, uh, shed light on, you know, I think, uh, a lot of people are still in the dark about, uh, some of these great new options are available, and obviously I'm talking about flashlights. So, turn that guy the right way. Uh, so, these are some great kind of, uh, pretty affordable, uh, flashlight offerings that, uh, this one here, plop you over here. Uh, this one here is kind of my go-to. I've carried that one for a very long time on my keys. Um, that is the Rovi Vaughn A5. So real small, real lightweight uh, little flashlight. I think you can see there, A5. That does have the luminous body. So that does glow. Um, but uh, really, really nice, uh, nice little light there. Super, super lightweight, uh, as well as puts out what about eight or I'm sorry, five. I think 550 lumens with uh, with uh, this uh, Cree uh, LED. Now you can get a Nichia 219C LED um, for these, and it'll give you a little bit warmer tint. Um, but just really love the 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 Rovi Vons uh, right here. You can get this in the same uh, glow in the dark shell. You can get it in aluminum, copper, titanium. I mean, you can really uh, pick whatever flavor uh, you like. Um, so yeah, a lot of great options there. And then we'll start with the uh, other end. What is that over there? Oh, also rechargeable. Oh yeah, this one's also rechargeable. Let's see. Yep. This is the Streamlight MicroStream USB. And you can see you just pull out here and put in right now. That's the USB, um, micro USB charger. But really easy. There's a O ring to help keep it water tight. But really light. This can go on your, as you can see, different ways to put it. You can put it on your baseball cap, um, slide it in your pants, a nice push button. Um, feel and just a really good little light to carry around um, Yeah for every day um, Another great option for the keys is this um, uh, O light Let's See if we can get it to focus IR2 EOS uh, This is the little one they did at the very start of this year um, For uh, COVID um, but yeah, these are great little lights that also are rechargeable as well. Uh, these are a, I believe, Cree LED that put out about 130 lumens and then 5 lumens for the low mode. But really, really great for the size. And uh, yeah, so, so both of these are great flashlight options. If only we had a third good flashlight. 
Yeah, oh, look. Dun, dun, dun. This is on my set of keys right here. And this is also another Olight. This is the i3e EOS. If you want, if you don't want to recharge for some reason, want to use a AAA, uh, this is a nice little option for a AAA battery to have a little bit of light in your life. Um, I mean, what if your phone dies? What are you going to use to light up the room? You know, you have this bad boy. So I digress. But yeah, suit, suit. I mean, I to me, I love these little rechargeable ones. But a little AAA one, it, you know, is always good because I mean, you can find AAA's anywhere. And mm -hmm. this is probably my favorite uh, smaller AAA, and that is the um, Lumen Top IYP07. Obviously, it's gotten quite a bit of love, um, but it has a metal tail cap. It also has, you can see that little green strip there that is uh, luminescent. Let's see, well. I don't think that really showed it at all, but that's okay. Um, but uh, one thing I really like about this is this is a um, Nichia LED. So it is a lot warmer kind of uh, tint or colorway than something more like this that typically does kind of white uh, things out a tad bit more. I don't think that's coming across too remarkable on camera, but trust me. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, these are great if you work in the medical field or if you um, are, uh, you know, doing a lot of uh, manufacturing or le electrician work. A lot of the times uh, having this high CRI um, LED just makes, you know, differentiating between certain colors a little bit better, a little easier, a little more precise. So really do uh, love uh, the uh, warm tint from this guy and also for under 20 bucks, um, a, a great chance to try out a, a high CRI uh, LED if that's maybe not something you're used to. So let's on move on to the two. last category, 505. Boom, 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 boom. People are going to be having a nice Christmas this year, I think. Oh, yeah. And last but not least, something that... Uh, is relatively new to uh, us, something that we haven't tried out a uh, ton of, but that is, oh, that fell terribly, uh, Hanks. So these are uh, awesome little uh, uh, Hanks that do have a nice kind of cotton side with a nice micro, my, goodness gracious, oh, wow. micro fiber cloth. Huh, goodness gracious. I don't know what I was about to say. <laughs> some nice fiber optics. <laughs> but, uh, some nice uh, uh, microfiber cloth on the other side. So it's great if you're wiping off your uh, screen on your phone or laptop or what have you. Also great for uh, those who are visually impaired like myself. Um, it just makes it great to wipe off the lenses. Make sure that you are seeing reality for what it is. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe that too deep? Yeah. No, dude, no. Um, but yeah, Freedom Hanks is a great option. Um, they actually have a website now. Uh, you can go to freedomhanks.com as well as um, check them out on Instagram at, at Freedom Hanks. Uh, but yeah, there's a, a, a lot of great kind of smaller Hank companies that are just really making a lot of interesting stuff, a lot of great looking um, designs to kind of really spice things up, but it's also something that's not necessarily, you know, exclusive to, to the knife and EDC world. Um, if anybody <laughs> has a phone or glasses or sunglasses for that matter, uh, this could be a great little addition to, uh, to, to the stocking there. Absolutely. So, yeah. There so guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all we got. No, no, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, d this is just kind of, you know, a couple little random options of some great stuff. Uh, you know, we'll have some of this stuff linked below, but of course, you know, you know, if you have any questions about any of this gear or where to find it or pricing or whatever, uh, feel free to leave a comment in the video. We do try and, uh, respond or at least read, um, as many, uh, comments as possible. So, uh, so yeah, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you guys saw something nice in this video that might be good to spice up uh, the Christmas holidays here coming up since this has been a darker year than most. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, so, yeah, guys. 
Thanks for stopping by the living room. It's time to go. Have a good one.